going to be in the Gospel of Luke again this week, so please turn in your Bibles there with me. This time, Luke chapter 12, we'll be beginning, toward, we will be beginning towards the end of Luke chapter 12. So, it's a very long chapter, we'll be starting in verse 49. Last week, we looked into the Gospel of Luke in chapter 15, where we found the parable of the lost sheep the parable of the lost coin, and the parable of the lost son, also more well known as the prodigal son. And Luke chapter 15 is such an encouraging chapter, one that people in our time and place very much appreciate, and is a part of Jesus' teaching that most people in our culture can be attracted to. However, there are things in Jesus' teaching that are not as attractive to people in our culture, and that's what we find here in Luke chapter 12, starting in verse 49 and leading through chapter 13, verse 9. You know, I often wonder, what would it be like if Jesus were in our state today? If Jesus were ministering in Nebraska, what would he say? What would his ministry look like? Would we recognize him as our Lord? Would we follow him? Or would we find him to be troubling in some ways? Would we even reject him or ask him to leave? Jesus Christ, who was he? How do we know what he would say, what he would do today? Well, the word of God is given to us so that we can understand what Jesus Christ said and did. And so, by learning what he said and did, 